Okay, guys, it's time for another edition of Kitchen Magic. This time, cabin edition. <laughs> you can see everybody's outside hanging out by the fire. You got uh, my buddy Richie and Mark, Douglas Chrissy sitting there in the blue chair. You just see his back, and uh, CJ hucking the wood. But anyway, what we're making today is going to be uh, dandelion fritters. We've collected dandelions, honeysuckle, and violets. Um, we're going to bread these basically and deep fry them. I have pepper, garlic, and fresh dill from the garden uh, for seasoning and some spinach. So what we're going to do first is we're going to saute this and this and then we're going to mix that in at the very end and then we'll deep fry it all. So let's get that started. Take a chunk of butter. Okay, so we've got some butter on the pan. We'll let that coat our pan real good. Okay, first things first, we'll go with the garlic and the pepper because it's a little tougher. I would normally do onion, but uh, Douglas Christie is allergic to onions. So avoid that. Don't want anybody getting sick out in the woods. Okay. Smelling good. Okay. Throw the spinach on top. I basically just want to wilt this. Look, we have a customer. <laughs> Drive through window style. So basically we're just going to saute that up. We'll add a little bit of pepper and salt. Okay. And we're going to serve these too when we're dipping them with this chipotle ranch. I was going to do just basic uh, ranch, but then I saw chipotle and I said, holy shimoli. They also have buffalo ranch, which looked really good. But, go with the chipotle. We basically just want everything to wilt. Just sauteing it all a little bit. Okay, now it, spinach is looking like it's starting to wilt. So I think I'm going to throw the dandelions on and the honeysuckles and violas or violets, whatever they are. I'm not really sure. They're both edible. Mmm, flowers smell really good. A little aromatic. I think I pulled that out. A little pine needle got in there because we were collecting pine needles for pine needle tea. That's on the stove right now. We're going to have pine needle tea and dandelion fritters for a little lunchtime snack and probably take a hike. Oh, it's looking good. Looking good and wilted. Okay, at the end of step one I'm going to go ahead and pull this off the frying pan and then I'll show you step two. Rolling? Yep. Okay. All right. So basically, um, next step is going to be to add an egg to this mix and bread it. So what I did was I already cracked one egg in here. And Douglas, if you wouldn't mind, my camera guy is Douglas Christie, aka Booty Kelt. Let's go back so, to sunlight. Yeah, it's better. But I mixed one egg in here. You can see it's kind of like smooshy, and it'll hold together. I didn't know whether to put two or one. I also added salt and pepper. So let's go ahead and batter a few of these up. I'm 
just going to make them into little meatball size balls. Now it's just flour. Yep. Well, that's actually a golden dip, okay. and then I added a little paprika to it. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to make them stick. If I had like a little cheese in here, like um, breadcrumbs, or not breadcrumbs, um, like Romano or something, it would stick even better. So I'm going to do a whole bunch of these, and then when we're all done, I'll take you guys back and we'll deep fry them. Okay. Okie dokie. All right, so we're back, and now we're just going to deep fry them. Um, I put a little extra flour topping stuff on top of them because they were kind of on the loose side, so that kind of tightened them up a little bit. Now they're a little bit like meatballs, so let's go ahead and deep fry one. Yeah, I was thinking I put it in. I do that to chicken fingers. It's almost there. It's looking nice. Okay, yeah, you know what? Can you pass me that paper towel plate? And I'll hold it in the light so you can actually get a good view of this. Check that out. It's got nice crispy texture. We're going to do them all up and then we'll do a taste test and see what everybody thinks. So we're going to do a taste test. Hello, it's the Toyota Alright, who's going to be our uh, taste tester? Well, Mark's standing there, so he should be it. Don't all jump at once. Alright, CJ, I'll test. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Alright, tell the camera what you taste. You took one hell of a bite. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's good. But what does it taste like? It's like onions. Oniony and bitter. Any bitterness or no? A little bitter. Yeah, you guys bitter. try what's, one. And, and what's the texture like? I could say the texture is like. I don't even know. <laughs> you, you just gotta try it. <laughs> so you recommend it? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Yeah. Very good with the dressing. Let's see. I'm gonna try it without any dressing first. Yeah, let's see what that's like. I think it has a spinachy feel. Mm. Yeah, well, there is spinach in it too, guys. Mm -hmm. But a, li a little bit bittery, but all the other flavors take make that better. But it reminds me of broccoli rob. That's mm -hmm. what it tastes mm -hmm. like. It tastes like broccoli rob. That's the bitter part here. Yep, but it's really good, and it's got the consistency of like a calamari with the bread. It's really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, Douglas, you want to give it a try? Yep. Okay. If you want a dip too, there's some dip. Extremely good. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a zucchini taste to it. That could be probably because the um, peppers in there. And also, uh, this has a medicinal purpose also. The uh, dandelion is a liver cleanser, so after all this weekend's drinking, this was definitely going to help us all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's been an episode of Kitchen Magic Cabin Edition. Hope you guys enjoyed.